Hi, I'm Jeff Temple, and I wrote the article for this week's eCounselor entitled, Becoming a Spiritual Leader When It's Not in Your Nature. I wrote this article because I've recently been asked by a few men on how to lead their wives and their families. Doing something like spiritual leadership is often unnatural to us, and so we feel awkward regarding it. We think that we have to be a pastor or a preacher, that we have to have a three-point outline, that we have to be ready to answer every single question that would come our way. Well, this really isn't the case. Spiritual leadership is something more, and it starts with love and care. So therefore, this article is an attempt to help jumpstart your ability to spiritually lead your wives and your families. The main part of the article is really at the bottom where I listed four questions that will help to start things off for you. The questions are easy because they are natural to us and these questions are intended to take on a spiritual focus. The first question is, what do you want? The question is an attempt to have someone examine themselves to see what motivates them. The second question is, why do you want it? After the person has searched their heart, it will come up with an answer which I typically summarize into a one word response, something like, are they looking for pleasure? Are they looking for comfort? Are they searching for peace or respect or something along the lines of this? The third question is, how will this make you happy or satisfied? The intent of this question is to have the person understand to what degree they really want the peace or the comfort or the respect. The last question is, does this desire compete with your love for Christ? This is the point where the person sees that if anything is competing for their love, which they have for Christ, they must take their soul to task. Really, to lead someone spiritually isn't taking a prepared devotional and reading through it. It is helping the person to grow in a greater love for their Lord and their Savior. So, as you see, the ability to start developing spiritual leadership role doesn't have to be a daunting task. You simply need to care. So I hope this article is a blessing to you. 